the boiling river of the Amazon. This scalding hot river was thought to be a myth, until one geoscientist made it his quest to study the mystical waters. Hidden in the dense jungle of the Peruvian Amazon is a rolling river. The steaming turquoise waters that can reach up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit are guided by ivory coloured stones, and guarded by 60 foot walls of lush forest and vegetation. Locals believe that the river was sacred and that the hot waters held healing powers. The shamans incorporated it into their medicines. The water temperature ranges from 120 degrees up to almost 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and reaches 16 feet deep in most places. The mud of the riverbank is too hot to walk on, and if you fell in your skid would be covered in third degree burns in less than a second. Small unfortunate animals like frogs can be found boiled in the water. There is no confirmation regarding how the phenomenon came to be, but it's hypothesized that a drilling company accidentally ruptured a geothermal system, releasing gases from inside the earth into the river. Andre Rousseau was a young child when he listened to his proven grandfather tell stories. One of his favorites was the story of the boiling river, or Shanye Tapinska. The ancient name translates to boiling with the heat of the sun. The headwaters are marked with a boulder in the shape of a snake's head. According to legend, a giant serpent spirit called Yakumamo or Mother of the Waters who gives birth to hot and cold water heats the river. For many years Russo was skeptical that the river truly existed and thought the stories were fictional. Then as he's creating a thermal map of Peru during his graduate studies at Southern Methodist University in Texas, he discovered an unusually large hotspot, one of the largest geothermal features found on any continent. In November 2011, he decided to travel to central Peru. He was accompanied by his aunt to see if this mysterious boiling river did exist. Reaching this location wasn't easy. The journey took him around four to five hours, including a two hour drive, an hour canoe ride, and an hour hike along muddy jungle paths. The river is protected by the shaman of the small town nearby, which is known as a secluded healing center. After getting special permission from the shaman to study the water, Russo was led by the shaman's apprentice to the almost four mile stretch of flowing scalding water. Russo is now working on protecting the sacred river from deforestation. His team is still studying the river. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.